Palestinians in Gaza are living in a nightmare with thousands of civilians being forced to flee southern Rafa city and eastern Jabalia in northern Gaza. The entire strip witnessed a night of heavy aerial and ground bombings. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has vowed to go ahead with the Rafa offensive. All of them, without exception, told me, even the amputees, they told me the spirit of the people lifts them up. Keep going until victory, and that's how we will do it. This is United States Secretary of State. Antony Blinken defended Washington's decision to pause delivery of 3,500 bombs to Israel due to concerns over Rafa. He further said that Israel lacked a credible plan to protect some 1.4 million civilians currently sheltering there. But the results that we've seen uh, in terms of the horrible uh, loss of life of, of innocent civilians, it's reasonable to assess, as we say in the report, that there are instances where they've acted inconsistent with their obligations under international humanitarian law. Those, in, those investigations continue both by us and by Israel. Gazans were told to leave parts of Rafa's Shabura refugee camp, the Janina and Kirbet al adas neighborhoods and other areas. They were told to move to the designated humanitarian area in Al Mawasi on the coast. Aid groups and United Nations officials have warned the area is already overcrowded and not ready to receive an influx of people. People loaded donkey carts and trucks with their belongings, leaving behind empty streets covered in rubble of collapsed buildings. Explosions and several large plumes of smoke were seen rising over northern Gaza after Israeli fighter jets carpeted the Jabalia refugee camp. Israeli military tanks were seen going deeper into the camp, even as civilians were ordered to evacuate. Jabalia is the biggest of Gaza's eight historic refugee camps and is home to more than 100,000 people. At least 21 people have been reportedly killed in the Israeli airstrikes in central Gaza. Top Israeli military spokesperson Rear Admiral Daniel Hagari says the Air Force is carrying out airstrikes in the north of Gaza to prevent Hamas from re-establishing its military capabilities there. Further adding, the IDF troops operating in Gaza City's Zaytun district have managed to kill 30 militants. Many Palestinians leaving Jabalia were seen carrying whatever belongings they could, having already been displaced several times before. Gazans were seen arriving in Al Saftwai area near Jabalia after fleeing the city following an Israeli evacuation order as troops were battling militants in several areas of the Palestinian territory. For all the latest news, download the We on app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.